Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. That back there is AV. That is what started the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. And now this is where we are We are right now. We're installing sway bar wings on Ms. Dora, a 2016 Ford Explorer. This is the fifth generation. So this is gonna work for any 2013 to 2019 Ford Explorer. Let's go ahead and roll that intro and dive into what tools you're gonna need. So to start off, you're going to want to jack the car up. I actually found out that I have one bad jack stand, so we're going to pitch that thing. And we have a good one over there with the jack. We're going to get the car jacked up, remove the wheel, and then we'll show you the rest of the tools for the actual job. We're gonna have to get the camera in here a little bit. So the sway bar links, as you know, go from here down, and you can see so right there. You can see that I have this adapter and it is completely bent. That is because my explorer has a two and a half inch lift kit on it, aka a leveling kit essentially. And so when I did that, I needed to put this on and it broke on me because I didn't put it in right. So that's why we have these beautiful adjustable sway bar links that we'll be putting in here because those sway bars can reach that full height as well as to there where my thumb and my index finger are. So that is gonna be super helpful. Now for the tools that you're gonna need, we need a 10 millimeter to put on right there on the sway bar link and then a 1316 that will go onto the back of the, the nut and then we'll put that 10 on there just like this and that'll loosen that and then we've got our 7 8 for that nut right there that is our adapter plate that is what will come out and be replaced along with the sway bar link now down under here, you can see, we're gonna have to do the same down here with the two up here that we've got, two wrenches, and that is gonna be pretty easy to knock out. So let's get to it and knock that out. Once you get it broke free, you can actually loosen it. <laughs> there we go, so we get the all in one banger right there. Get rid of that. And now you see why we had problems. So out with the old and in with the new. We're gonna take this off. And I've already sized this. I just will need to tighten it once I get it in place. So I tighten the top and then I tighten the bottom. Don't have to do it specifically that way. That's just how I do it. You got the wrong wrench. This right one.
put it in our washer and the nut. Now we have some beautiful blue sway bar links. And to finish this job up, all we're going to do is put the tire on, slap that tire on, and we'll be good to go. Now over on this side, we've already done this. And I'll give you a peek at that. So that is how you swap out your sway bar links and use adjustable now if you guys are in the market for some of these adjustable ones i'll put a link down below because i'll be honest they're very hard to find some and they don't none of them specify that they will work on our car but as you can see they do what i ended up doing was taking the old sway bar link held up a string to it and i measured that string and i looked for that size and other models of cars and universal universal kinds so that's how i found it if you guys enjoyed this video if it was helpful smash that thumbs up don't forget to click the red subscribe button we'll catch you in another video have a great night god bless don't ever give up god is here with you yeah you are a child nothing but love is true just gotta fix it